Hi, it's Paul here from Mantra Systems. In this video, we're going to run through five resources you should definitely consider when writing a medical device clinical evaluation report. The first one is the MDR itself. Now I know that the MDR isn't exactly the easiest tool to work with directly, but there are certain parts of it that are definitely worth checking out. In terms of clinical evaluation, it's certainly worth spending the time to read through Article 61 and Annex 14 Part A. Together, these two sections of the MDR outline the core requirements for clinical evaluation, and there's really no substitute for going directly to the source. So while you might not get as much detail and information as you will from some of the other resources we're going to talk about, there's no substitute for going straight to the legislation itself. The next resource to consider is definitely MedDev 2.7-1 Revision 4. Catchy title, but this has been the go-to resource for a long time, certainly under the MDD when it comes to all things clinical evaluation. It's a detailed guideline that's published straight from the EU Commission, and as such, it contains authoritative guidelines on putting together a clinical evaluation. The only problem is it hasn't yet been updated to reflect changes introduced by the MDR. So it is out of date and that needs to be borne in mind. The other limitation is that while it goes into a lot of detail on requirements, it's a little bit light when it comes to examples and also information as to how to phrase things. So on its own, it will no longer be sufficient but it's certainly an important part of your arsenal when it comes to writing a CER. The third resource to consider is one of the range of MDCG guidelines that are available and free to download. And the first one is 2020-13. And this one carries the title Clinical Evaluation Assessment Report Template. As such, it's kind of the mark sheet that a notified body might use when it comes to assessing and evaluating your clinical evaluation report. So it's really useful to view the process from that side because in a sense, it means you have the answers before you start. The next resource to consider are actually two of the other MDCG guidelines. And these, unlike 2020-13, will only be useful in certain situations, but are definitely worth considering. The first one is MDCG 2020-6 which deals specifically with legacy devices, which are those that have been previously regulated under the Medical Device Directive. So if that applies to your device, it's certainly worth having a copy of this guideline. The other one to think about is 2020-5, which deals specifically with the topic of equivalence. So if you're looking to make an equivalence claim, make sure you have this one in your toolkit. The final resource to think about are CER templates. There are a wide range of templates that are available. Some of them are free, some of them are commercial templates. Just bear in mind they do vary markedly in quality and in relevance to the MDR. So if you do rely on a template, make sure you're using one that's authoritative and covers all of the latest requirements for clinical evaluation under the MDR. At Mantra Systems, we offer a wide range of clinical evaluation services, including a full writing service, a review service, literature review service, and we also offer our market-leading CER template available for download. If you'd like any further information, you can always contact a member of our team. And we also run a free-to-attend Ask Me Anything CER clinic every other Wednesday. So be sure to check the link down below and register for the next one. Thanks very much for watching this video, and we look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thank you.